our homework was to take the the topics add details to support the main idea question what kind of damage do floods cause and that would be or those would be our uh, supporting details okay? we could include those in our essay to tell more about the main idea but who has a supporting detail for us do you know if you have one it damaged many buildings buildings how can they damage buildings you know okay so floods damage dam so floods damage buildings when the water takes over them all right who has another uh, supporting detail for us okay what else can floods do that cause damage so we know they can damage buildings it takes a lot of money to repair after a flood okay so let's move on to our next one a lot of people choose dogs as pets because of the many fun things they like to do. do. Kent, what is something fun that dogs like to do? A ball for a dog and it chases it and brings it back. We'll call that fetch. Dogs like to play fetch. Okay, what else do dogs like to do? Dogs like to play. Uh, uh, go over obstacles. Okay, dogs can play jump over obstacles. Okay, does anyone else have a fun game they like to do with their dog? What do I like to do with my dog? Like, like, what I want to like with my dog. Okay. What I have to think is, what fun thing would I like to do with my dog? Because my dog likes to ride motorbikes with me. People use libraries because libraries offer many services. Think to yourself, what is a service that a library would offer? Uh, we can uh, read books uh, and uh, do our homework. You can check out books for free at a library, okay, that's what I said. A library is a quiet place to do homework. Say, okay. James, what else can you do at a library? Read books. Look something up on the computer, but I don't have a computer at home. The library. Okay, so the libraries have computers for people to use, that's another one. Okay. To often learn important skills as a result of being on a sports team. So let's think, what is an important skill you could use by playing on a sports team. Learn to play in the... In the Kids can learn rules of playing different games. Okay. Okay. What can we learn from playing on a sports team? Mm -hmm. We want to know about skills. So let's look at the word, the clue word, team. What is a team, Jimai? A group of people working together. Okay, so if you are on a sports no. team, if you're on a soccer team, can you just play the entire game by yourself? No. No, you have to learn how to do what? Okay, you have to learn how to work with a... Each other. Okay, so kids learn how to work as with? a group. You said a team is a group of people. I think this is a pretty good list so far. So when we do, this is going to be part of our homework. We're going to talk about revising a cause and effect essay. What does revising mean? Okay, so we could say, so revising means maybe it looks like the word like visiting or to look at, to go see. And re means again, so if you have a cause and effect essay and you are looking at it again, why might you be looking at it again? So you could find important details that you need. All right. So we can so we can look and make sure we have all of our important details. Okay. Do you know? Do you have something else for us? Use the chat for if you have a question or if you'd like to say something. So when we're revising, we're going back. We're looking at our essay again, and we want to make we want to make it better. Okay. You want to improve or fix your essay. So ways that we can revise or make our essays better is by looking for signal words that show cause and effect. So what are some examples of signal words? Because. Okay, good job, because. James, what's another one? Words that show us that we're talking about cause and effect. Since. Uh, so, so. Since is also another one. All right, and. As the result. As a result, it was two words, a combination of two words that show cause and effect. If, then. If, then, okay. If it rains, then I will bring my umbrella. Okay, 
Okay, so those are two words to, that work together to show cause and effect. Okay, so these are, we want to make sure that our essay includes these words. If we don't have these words, it's going to be very difficult for someone to read our essay and know that we're talking about cause and effect. All right, so another way we can revise or make better is to make sure that we have organized our causes and effects. Remember when we talked about our topic sentence and the details that support each topic sentence? That's called organizing, putting everything in its correct place. All right, so like when you organize a room, you put all your books on the bookshelf, you put your toys in the toy box, you put your pillows on your bed. You put everything in its correct place. And we do the same with our essays. Okay. And our last one is details that support the topic sentence. So just like we did for homework, we want to make sure each paragraph's topic sentence has the correct details in that paragraph. Does all this make sense to everyone? Give me a thumbs up if you remember. So this is an, these are important skills that we're going to be using for every single essay that we are writing from now on. Okay, we're going to make it a little bit different depending on what kind of essay we're writing, but all these rules will apply. So we're going to look at a paragraph, or sorry, we're going to look at an essay. So this one is called Fire is a Useful Tool. <clears throat> so I'm going to read it out loud. And then what you were going to do is you're going to, I'm going to break everyone up into small groups and together as a small group, I want you to revise this essay. Okay. Add things that can make it better and you might need to move some things around so you organize, so it's organized better. All right. Fire is a useful tool. Nobody knows when fire was discovered, but its effects are well known. People use fire. It keeps them warm and cooks their food. Before electric heaters, people used fire. It helped them stay warm. People built fires to stay warm when they were outside. Houses had fireplaces. People used ovens to make bread. People also used fires for food. Fire cooked for food. People made soups and drinks with hot water. People even used fires to heat up water for baths. People have been using fire for thousands of years. Fire has many uses that have helped people survive. See anything that can be improved in this essay? Some words we might need to add, some sentences that we might need to move around. Okay, so let's get into our small groups. And I have a picture of our essay right here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to, when we get into our groups, sorry, does anyone have uh, this packet with them? I'm going to have to go into each group and send this picture of the essay to everyone. Okay? And then someone's going to need to open it and share their screen so everyone can see together. And then you will need to talk to each other and say, what can we add? And then one person needs to write down the things that, or you can all write down the things that you need to add. I'm going to put people in groups now, and then we're going to discuss who will share. Each room will have three to four people in it. So room number one is going to be is i need everyone listening so we know what to do okay room number one is bill dino ling chi and lily you're gonna need to okay and then all you need to do is open it on your computer and then share your screen okay okay and then I understand. all right and then lily since you already have your packet lily why don't you write down the fixes or the changes that you need to make okay all right so that's gonna be group one all right uh Room number two is going to be Pizza, Ming Chao, Mitzi, and uh, Mit A. Pizza. Then Pizza. I'm going to exit you from this entire Zoom meeting. Aw. How about that? Do you think that that was a very nice thing to say? No. Is that how we work in groups together? No. Maybe you need to join a sports team pizza and then you can learn how to work as a team with a group. So Mitzi, Pizza, Ming Chao, and Mit A. 
Okay, so who can share their screen? Open the picture and share their screen. So Ming Chao can do it. So I'm gonna send it in the chat, the picture in the chat, and then you are going to open that picture and then share your screen, okay? Okay. Okay, so it says share up here in your toolbar up here, okay? Open it and then share your screen so everyone can see it. Okay, number three is going to be B, uh, Chimai, uh, Miss Chu, and Ciro. Who else did I say? B. Okay, B, do you want to share the picture with everyone? Yes. Okay, so I will send it in the chat and then you will open it and share your screen. Okay? And then why don't we have Chimai, you can go ahead and write down uh, the changes that we need to make. Okay, and then number four is going to be Maggie, Kent, Minnie, and uh, Feng Tao. Maggie, can you open the picture and share your screen? And then let's have Feng Tao, you can write down the changes. All right, room number five is going to be Elsa, James, and Jon Snow. So Elsa, can you open the picture and share your screen? So it's gonna ask you if you'd like to join the room, please accept the invitation to join the room. Hello, everyone. Yeah, this was for the We haven't yeah, met you for a while, Miss Chami. Thank you. Miss you, too. Okay, I just sent the, the picture. Who is supposed to share? Let me see that I have accidentally, um, that picture. I just screenshot, I just screenshot and, um. Okay, can you share that picture with everyone on your screen? Okay. Might... See this, then we have to uh, find what to edit. Write down what to edit. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's work together. Means that. Write this down. It doesn't matter. Anyone. I must write down, Zero. Okay. What is the topic sentence of the first paragraph? You can tell me what is the topic sentence of the first paragraph? What? What do you think the topic sentence of the first paragraph? Why? I think why fire is useful. Maybe. Maybe. Nah, you should write that in. No, it's right. it totally. Why do people use fire? Then we can. It helps keep it keeps them warm and cooks the their food. Uh, so uh, I think what, maybe so can what put, can we connect with people use fire and it keeps them warm and cooks their food? We can use signal words between these two sentences. Um, by because since or yes. because yes. since or because yeah. zero please write down okay now and it um should be the topic sentence of the introduction why are you unmuting yourself what okay yeah. now let's move on to the next paragraph I cannot draw now because I accidentally. Uh, people, uh, electric heater people use fire. Uh -huh. Let me do this. So could you please read the second paragraph? Um, before electric heaters, people used fire. It helped them stay warm. People built fires to stay warm when they were outside. Houses had fireplaces. People used ovens to make bread. Thank you so much. Uh, do you think we need some changes here? Hmm. Zero. I think, um, I think, yes. Um.